Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khan, host on Click Digest, and we have with us the HTC U Play. This has been launched in India at around forty thousand rupees, and this is an interesting offering from HTC. The U Ultra has also been launched, and this is the U Play, which is the lower cost variant. The Ultra is priced at around sixty thousand rupees and is the top end flagship. This one comes with different specifications and form factor. It is a five point two inch display phone. I'll keep this to the side and show you what else you get in the box, and we'll then quickly get back to the phone. So you get a data cable. This is a Type C data cable. It comes with a Type C port. Apart from that, uh, you also get a back case. This is a transparent back case which has been bundled. Since the back is very glossy on this phone and is uh, probably prone to a lot of uh, fingerprint and scratches, so it is. Good that HTC has included uh, a back case. You also get a cleaning cloth, much required with such glossy surface. You get uh, the user guides, documentation, warranty manuals, standard stuff. Then some stickers, and you also get this uh, play card, which is not in English, so I don't know what it is. Here you also get a SIM card removal tool. With HTC branding, I'll open the tray and show you what's inside. You get uh, a pair of earbuds, and these are Type C earbuds. This phone, like the iPhone 7 and the Le Eco phones, does not get a 3.5 mm jack, and it is uh, powered using this uh, Type C connector. These are angular tip, high quality HTC earphones. in the ear types quite soft rubber and they are powered using this uh, type c connector so in case you are planning to use your own headphones with this phone you cannot it uses only type c uh, type of uh, headphones this is the power brick this is a 5 volt uh, 2 ampere so it is a 10 watt adapter not uh, super charged or uh, quick charge compatible and here you have got some extra earbuds for the earphone that's all in the box let's get back to the phone so this is uh, the HTC U play and the display does look very sharp i'll show you around the phone and then we'll do the setup so on the right hand side of the phone you get the power wake up key in the middle which comes with this texture reminds me of the nexus 6 and on top of that is uh, the volume rocker both finished in metal and feel very robust to touch some compliance stickers here and on top you have secondary mic hold for noise cancellation and there's also a sim card tray let me open this up and show you what's uh, there this is a dual sim phone and comes with a hybrid uh, sim tray which goes uh, on top so you can either use two sim card slots or two sim or one sim card and one micro sd and it supports expansion of up to 2 terabytes uh, with a micro sd card which is huge this comes with 32 gigs of internal memory and there is 4 gb of ram this side is totally clean no buttons and on the bottom you get primary mic hole type c connector and a bottom firing a set of speaker this is a single speaker rather at the bottom on the rear of the phone is a 16 megapixel shooter which comes with the dual tone dual led flash and the back is very reflective as you can see almost mirror finished and is very prone to catching smudges and fingerprints so this um, may be a compromise that you have to bear for such beautiful glossy surface it does look very shiny and very very glossy so if you love bling you will love this phone on the front is a 5.2 inch uh, full high definition display two touch capacitive buttons at the bottom and a uh, fingerprint scanner in the middle this fingerprint scanner is just like the HTC 10 it does not depress but it is more like a touch pad and it's an active scanner which means that when you touch it it uh, recognizes there's also a 16 megapixel front facing ultra pixel camera and you also get a uh, standard earpiece and some sensors here let me quickly set this up and uh, take you to the home screen and it also has a fingerprint scanner setup while this uh, setup so let me just quickly do that for you here we are at the home screen of this phone and let me quickly show you how fast the scanner is so let's try unlock this 
quite smooth. In fact, I would say it's comparable to what we have seen on HTC 10. Very fast and responsive and also very accurate. This is the HTC Sense UI that you have seen. It runs uh, using the Android 6.0 uh, Marshmallow version. It is not on Android Nova yet. So let me just show you the details here. This is 6.0 and uh, HTC would probably update it later. It is not on uh, the latest version as yet. If you move to this side, you get the blink feed and uh, it requires internet connection. The phone is not connected to the internet right away. Uh, I'm not connected the same. This is just a quick unboxing. Let me quickly take some photos with the front as well as rear camera just to give you a sense of how capable these uh, 16 megapixel cameras are when it comes to taking pictures. This phone has uh, a lot of features when it comes to camera and you get uh, extra modes and uh, extra functionality and this is the front facing camera let me take a selfie. So this is how the front facing camera works. Uh, pretty clear I would say uh, fairly decent and wide shot and this these are some shots taken with the rear facing camera let me try to zoom in and see the detailing in the picture it is able to capture a good amount of details here we are still to test this uh, in detail so we'll come back with the more information about the camera and detailed review of this phone first impressions are positive but uh, the few downsides that i observed about this phone is that it is using a very average chipset besides uh, being priced very close to the flagships and uh, in terms of uh, uh, android version it is kind of lagging behind but it does look very promising in terms of design and build it gives you very premium feel as soon as you hold it in hand has a very fast fingerprint scanner a beautiful display nice form factor dual sim support there is also missing 3.5 mm uh, headphone jack so if you are uh, fond of one you may probably be bothered about it so keep those things in mind apart from that it does look like a good phone from the house of htc that's all we have on a quick unboxing and first impressions. Do subscribe for more videos. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.